All right, let's see here. Uh, hello, Ed. He turned 65 in November of this year. He has health insurance through his wife's employer. She is 66 and not started Social Security yet. Um, she reaches full retirement age in September of this year. Question is, uh, um, is he eligible to go ahead and start Medicare and get off her plan. Um, one of the things is, so if her employer has 20 employees or more, then technically you don't have to sign up for um, Medicare. You can, you know, continue on your wife's health insurance as long as she has health insurance through current work. It's, you know, not retirement, but actually she's working and have health insurance. So you don't have to sign up for, you know, Part A or Part B and pay that premium, save yourself the money. You can sign up for Part A, you know, that's that's free. Um, a little bit of extra coverage never hurts there. Um, and But in terms of B, you don't have to sign up. However, if you want to, so it, it's, you have to do kind of a cost benefit analysis. So if your wife's plan costs you more than the Part B premium and, you know, the, the coverage is not as good or something like that. And you also want to get a you know, Medicare supplement, um, you know, give us a call and I can have uh, somebody from my network give you a call and uh, kick around the options in your particular area. It's all free of charge, obviously. And uh, we can, you know, find out uh, if there's, you know, what the options are, uh, whether you should stay on your wife's plan or, you know, switch over to Medicare and same situation with her. So if she wants to get off her employer plan because her employer plan is terrible and it costs too much, she can definitely do the same thing. Even though she's 66, um, it doesn't matter. She won't get penalized. Um, for her, she'll have to fill out a, a couple of forms. It's a, the 40B and the 564. It just one of those forms you have to take down to your employer and they prove that she did in fact have health coverage from current work since she turned 65 so she won't get penalized um so you can both start at the same time but again you want to make sure you're comparing it with what you currently have um and then when she stops working if you know you decide to keep on her plan and when she stops working then you'll both need to fill out those forms, the 40B and the 564. And then it'll be four forms and two of those will be for the employer to fill out that says, yes, she had health insurance since she turned 65, don't penalize her. And the other form will be with your social security number and her social security number at the top is the number holder. And do not penalize him because he had health insurance through her current work. So you have a lot of options there and it's a, it's a beautiful thing and uh, make sure you set up a, a creative playlist on my website, mygovexpert.com and, uh, and that way you can get information on all the other Medicare options out there, the Medicare Advantage plans and the Medicare Supplement plans, also called Medigap plans. I always recommend Medigap plans, a plan G or a plan N if you can afford it. If it's in your budget, 100%, that's the way to go. And then you just get another Part D, the drug plan, to supplement, uh, to, to, to go on top of that. So, yeah, give us a call if uh, you want me to uh, have someone from our network uh, reach out to you. And uh, we can definitely help you out. All right. Thanks for the question. Take care.